Hi and welcome to Shop RJ Piscini for Great Deals. My name is Rich Piscini. Today is July 23rd, 2019. Thank you for tuning in. I just want to start off by saying thank you to all the new subscribers who recently subscribed to my channel. I hope you like the content and come back for more. Today, I'm in, I want to do a little uh, video, well, hopefully a little video, on adding videos to your eBay listings. Uh, I've been getting these every now and then. People have been questioning them on the Facebook groups and so on and so forth. And I just thought I'd do a tutorial on it. I'm going to go over it. I'm going to try to be as brief as possible, show you the to you know, tell you about the software I use, and uh, show you how I upload it to eBay. That's coming up. Stick around. Thanks, guys. Okay. All your photos are taken. Now you're ready to do your description. I have a pre-formatted template which I use on front page 2002. It's a reusable one. All I basically do is change all the information up here. Everything else stays the same. My feedback, my out return policy, combined shipments, tracking service, and yada, yada, yada. <laughs> anyway, what we want to do is we want to add that YouTube video to your eBay listing. And I'm going to, I'm going to walk you step by step. This is how I do it. And, uh, you know, then you could take it from there. Hopefully, it'll be helpful to you. Maybe you guys may find it helpful, you know, that you might want to add a video. Uh, there's a lot of steps to go through, but, well, not a lot, but enough to, you know, keep you on your toes with this. So, here's, where, here's how I do it. Okay, so first thing I did is I took my photos. I put my, I did my description over here. And the reason why I like uh, front page 2002, to be honest with you, is because... With this here, it's got the HTML. You can convert it from the normal feature to the HTML. Okay, and I like that, and I'll show you why in a second. And it also has a preview mode as well, which is basically the same thing. Yeah, this little message pops up right now. I don't know why it does that, but it does. <laughs> all right. Um, well, it is an older program too, but it still works. For all intents and purposes, it's, it still works. Okay, so now I got my description all set up. I want to add video to this here, and then I want to upload this here to, you, uh, to eBay. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go we're going to go to let me close this window out for you really quick here, and we're gonna open up this window right here. Now we want the one with the YouTube converter. Okay, first thing. Well, I'm sorry. First thing we gotta do is go here. Let's go to you after you pick your video out. I kind of was doing everything a little ahead of time here. After you pick it, yeah, let me go over here. I was just showing it. I was doing this. I'm preempting it before I did my video. So let's go back over here. After you find the video you're looking for, which in this case I'm looking for this one here, you want to share it, right? I mean, you want, you want to share it. Yeah, that's exactly what you want to do. You want to share it on your uh, eBay listing. So you're going to click it on, okay? Now we don't want it to, you know, we don't need it to play, of course. So we're just going to mute it out of here. Not mute it, but just pause it. Okay, let's okay. Look up, pause it. Okay. What you want to do is, oh, oh, if you got it, there we go. Video. Uh, doesn't want to go off. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go to, look at this here. My computer has really been acting up lately, folks. I apologize, I really do. I think it's time for a new one. Okay, you're gonna click on the share feature right here, the share button, click that on. When you come to this one here, the share link, go to embed, embedded here, okay, or embed. You're gonna come up with this here. It's gonna come up with this now. Let me tell you something with this here. Um, I've noticed though doing this here, I don't know if eBay changed it, but if there's active content, which most likely it's going to show up in here in this video, because I had this once before, I'm going to show you all you do is just respond to it, remove the active content, it'll, it'll, no, eBay will do it automatically, it'll fix it for you in your listing, I'll show you. It may happen, it may not, but I'm quite sure uh, the last time I did it came up. So what you're going to do is, you're going to copy this here, right, you could copy it, select it like that and just hit the copy button, or I just I always go right click, copy that way. Okay, so now that we got that code, we're going to go to the YouTube converter, and I already have it in here, so let's refresh it and start all over again so you can see, because like I said, I was testing the other ahead of time, because my computer, like I said, has been acting up on me on here. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the YouTube or video, uh, Vimeo uh, code converter for eBay 20, 20, 20, 2018 to 2019. Uh, I will drop this link below in the boxes, so we got to click the active hyperlink on, it'll bring it right to this window. You're going to take that code that you got, that share code from YouTube, and you're going to pop it right in here. You're going to paste it, okay? Then it says, click Make eBay Code button below. Once you click it, boom, it goes like this here. Now, you could hit the Select button of the code, and then you want to copy it. I right-click it, go over here. Now, I'm going to go back to H, uh, front page 2002. And as you can see at the bottom here, there's nothing here. Now, when you pop that code in there, um, it's going to always show up at the bottom. So you may want to do, if you get a chance, 
you could always do something like this here uh, if you want to. I'm just doing this as a demo, okay? Please see uh, demo video. This at the bottom, at the bottom, I'm sorry, bottom of, whoops, this description. Like that. Whoopsie. Like that. And you could also, you can make it bigger, you can move it around. I, like I said, I'm using front page 2002. Um, if it's small like that, you definitely want to highlight it. But you could leave it like that there. Uh, like this here. I like this. This is cut and dry too. This is another one, pretty much cut and paste. Uh, I like it, you know, and you can make that bigger. Or you can make it super big so they definitely see it like that. <laughs> and uh, you could leave something like that there. All right, this way the potential buyer sees it. So, oh, he's got a demo video because if they don't, if you don't have something here just to let them know, they may just scroll right down to this here. They might not go all the way down to the bottom because I'm going to show you when you embed that HTML code into this description, it's going to show at the bottom here. So if you get a person that doesn't go all the way to the bottom, they're not going to see it. So that's why you might want to pop a little notation here for the potential buyers. Hey, check out my demo video. Okay, so what you're going to do now is you're going to click on the HTML, okay? Again, this is all done in front page 2002. You're going to scroll down. Now, I know it seems like you're not seeing here, but we're just going to select all. There we go. You're going to see that there. Now, what you're going to do is, uh, let me move this over here like that. There we go. When you get to the bottom, you see the HTML over here? Okay. Now, that code that we copied from the YouTube converter, we're going to right, we're going to right click, paste it here. Okay. Now, you see where it says begin video, uh, begin linked video? Okay. When you go back here to normal, you don't notice at first, but when you go down to the bottom, there it is. Okay. So you could also do the preview too. You can see how it's going to preview. Uh, for some reason, I always get this message, but don't worry about that. That's if you're not using front page 2002, don't worry about it. It's still effective. It's still for me. It still works. Okay. So now you say, okay, all right. What do we do now? There's two ways to pop this into your uh, eBay listing. First off. Um, I'm going to go over here. I got another window opened up here. I have it already to revise it. Now I'm going to put it in and then I'm going to take it out again because I want to keep it the way it is. It's an active listing, so I don't want to play too much. You're going to take too much time with it. You're going to go on your active, well, pretend this is a new listing, okay? You already got your photos in there. It's a brand new listing. You didn't do anything here. Pretend this is blank. Let's, let's pretend it's blank. Let's select it all, okay? So now you're here. It's a blank page. There's nothing here. You're starting fresh, okay? All right, so there's two ways to embed that HTML code in there or that, that uh, demo video. You could do it the standard format or you could do it the HTML, whatever's convenient for you. Now, if you're doing the HTML, I'm going to show you both ways. Again, I'm using front page 2002. I'm going to click it on the HTML uh, coding, right? I'm going to right click. I'm going to select all, right? I'm going to copy it and I'm going to go back to that window. Okay, once you copied your HTML code, now you're ready to paste it into the eBay listing. You're gonna right click, you're gonna to go to paste. It's gonna look like this in the HTML format. You wanna see how it actually is gonna look when you display it, click on standard, and there you have it. And then when you scroll down, make sure that your listing and your video is there. And there it is, folks. And that's all there is to it. And then of course, once you get it where you want, all the information's in there. And then don't forget to do the most important thing after all of that trouble, hit that update listing. But for, this, for all intents and purposes, because this is an active listing, I'm going to cancel it out. This is just to show you uh, how I did that, there, how I embed videos in there. And this, this is this is how it's going to look when, when a person comes to look at it. But you see, here's, I just want to point this out to you. If you don't give any kind of indication, whether you're putting it into your uh, description up here, where is it, uh, up here, you could, if you forget, you could also put it in the con uh, condition description. Please check out demo video at the bottom of the description. You could do it that way in case you forget to put it in your description. Or you could just do it and just update this, edit this here. But here's what I want to show you. If a person comes to your listing and they just read this part, let's say they don't check out everything else. Let's say, pretend this is not here though, okay? But we're going to pretend this ain't here. And they don't scroll all the way down to the bottom. They won't see it. They might stop up here. Maybe. It depends. They may stop over here or they may not read the whole thing. They might just look at this and say, oh, that's what it's all about. That's it, you know. But um, it's always good to at least put a little notation there for the uh, potential buyer to see that description, you know, the uh, demo video, okay. And that's all there is to it. And, uh, you know, if you guys find it easy and that, that you thought it was, you know, that you thought it was a pretty easy, uh, you know, way of doing it, fine. If you know a better way uh, you want to share with us, that'd be great. But this is how I've been doing it right along and it works for me. Um, 
I noticed one thing that uh, in this video I thought like when I was gonna what do you call it there uh, drop the HTML link in the uh, eBay listing usually if, if you get a message that comes up uh, that they found uh, active content it'll say fix it you know you click on the fix and then it'll just and you say remove it'll do, it'll remove it and everything will be copacetic everything will work out great but anyway guys I hope that that helped out that video and before I close this video out um, I will drop the link for this here okay for this uh, software here the YouTube converter for eBay I will drop that that link in there down below so you'll have it um, if you guys like this video please don't forget to uh, subscribe like comment and share and why I got your attention if you want to check me out over here you can go to uh, this is my YouTube channel of course uh, if you want to ch check out other videos I have I also uh, why I got your attention here if you want to buy stuff well let me go let's show you the Twitter first uh, you could also follow me on Twitter if you choose to do so here's my Twitter one here you can follow me on Twitter uh, so far I got 1472 uh, followers which is not bad for you know person that's getting more involved with it uh, I also have a Facebook group. You're more than welcome to join. It's the same thing. Shop RGBC for great deals. You can check that out. Also, um, if you want to make purchases, uh, well, here's my eBay listings. Let me just get to the eBay listings here really quick. Oh, I still got the eBay partner thing, but I want to show you the, my eBay listings in case you want to check it out for yourselves. Uh, everything I have going on, e you know, that's on eBay right now, folks is um with best offers i know a lot of a lot of uh, ebay sellers are out there uh have the same thing they're offering best sell you know, best sales best offers i'm saying best sellers i want to be a best seller too no <laughs> seriously uh but here as you can see here um these are the active listings i have right now uh again you know if you guys are interested in any of them uh please don't hesitate to uh make a best offer i only have 106 listings uh, so far and I don't know like I said I may be dropping some off and redoing something else with my uh, eBay selling thing here so uh, why it's still here um, you know if you want to check them out again make best offers I have been reducing the prices on a lot of the items that you see here so if you you know if you see something you like please make a reasonable best offer and uh, I've been accepting a lot of best offers I'll be honest with you folks because I'm really trying to clear out the inventory I have here so if you do see anything that you like, um, please, you know, don't hesitate. Make that best offer. Like I see a lot of them do have uh, watches on them. Uh, it's just a matter of getting people to uh, buy. <laughs> That's the hard part. But no, seriously, um, you know, you can see uh, they do have watches on here and stuff. So if you guys see anything you like in here, please don't forget to, uh, you know, don't hesitate to make that best offer. And uh, as long as it's reasonable, folks, I will be accepting it. I mean, really, I mean, um, they, you know, I, I want to give you guys the best deals possible. And if you don't want to, uh, let's say you're a person that don't really shop on eBay, but you're a Bonanza, you're, you know, you shop on Bonanza, uh, I'm also on Bonanza as well. Same thing, shop RJ Piscine for great deals. Uh, same same uh, service, you know. And also, again, with best offers. Uh, if you see anything you like that you want to make a best offer on, please don't hesitate. Uh, again, you could do the same thing if you're a person that prefers to buy off of, um, you know, Bonanza. You're more than welcome to do that. I'm also on Poshmark too. Okay, these are my Bonanza listings here, and these are, I think five percent cheaper. Just to let you guys know, okay, these are what you see here is like five percent off. I know it's not much; it's a little savings, but you know, I figured just you know throw it out there to you guys in case you see something you like. You know, there maybe you know, maybe you uh, you're a Bonanza shopper and maybe you might want to check it out. But this is all I have right now on Bonanza, and the way Bonanza works, folks, is it imports eBay's listings, so it emulates basically what you see over here is what's on eBay. So that, and that's the way it goes. And I gotta say one thing, folks, when it comes to cross-selling, make sure, just a little tip for yourselves, uh, make sure if you sell something on Bonanza, you go to the eBay listing and make sure you remove it right away and vice versa. If, if, you, you know, if something sells on eBay, uh, make sure you go to Bonanza and remove that, that, that uh, item because if not, somebody else may buy it you know and the reason i'm saying is because if uh, bonanza doesn't refresh the system right away it's going to show active on their system you know it's, it's sold on ebay but it's going to show active on this one here i had that happen to me on two occasions uh because i don't know how often they will update over here but if they don't update it uh within a certain time frame it, that's going to still show active and that makes you look bad too because then you got to contact the 
the uh, buyer and say, look, the item's been sold or whatever, and it doesn't make you look good, you know? But uh, yeah, check it out. I'm over here as well, top rated seller on, on Bonanza as well. And for those ladies who like to buy stuff off of Poshmark, same thing, shop RJ Pacini for great deals, always looking to save you money, like the item, not the price, make an offer. Um, I only have 57 listings. Uh, these are the things I have right now. And the same thing uh, for those women out there. It's more pretty much a lot of women's stuff on here. So that's why I'm pointing out towards the women. In some cases, this is, well, this is a man's uh, sweater here. But for the majority of the stuff, it's pretty much women's stuff. Um, you know, so if you, again, if you see something here you like, uh, and, you know, let's say you're a Poshmark seller, I mean a buyer. Maybe you don't set, maybe you don't buy off of Bonanza or you don't buy off of eBay, but, you know, maybe you like to buy your, your items off of, um, you know, your merchandise off of Poshmark. Uh, I got some here, like I said, again. Some of the stuff, I will say this, folks. Some of the stuff that you do see here is listed on eBay as well, okay? I, I try to do cross selling because, like I said again, folks, I'm trying to move the merchandise out as quick as I can. I like to try to move it out. So, um... Please don't hesitate to, um, you know, check it out. And with that, we are going to close this video out. Well, that concludes that video tutorial on how to embed your YouTube videos in your eBay descriptions or listings. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you like my videos and you want to see more of the stuff I have, please don't hesitate scroll down check out what else I'm on you know what other videos I have I have some how to's do it yourselves you know do it yourself videos uh, even I even did a couple little cooking videos but um, if you check out the stuff I have you may be interested in and if you do like my videos and this one included please don't forget to hit that subscribe button like comment and share and if you want to be updated as to when I post new videos out please don't forget to hit the bell notification icon my name is Rich Pacini you're watching shop RJ Pacini for great deals until next time, have a great day. Bye-bye now.